Hi, my name is Dan with ENS Security, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the body detection analytics on the Uniview system. Before we begin, I'd like to remind everyone it's always best practice to make sure that the camera and the NVR has the latest firmware, and it also supports the feature that you plan on using. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to set up the body detection analytics in the web browser. So the first thing you want to do is open up Internet Explorer browser, okay? And then one thing that I also want to mention is that you want to make sure that the, uh, that the ActiveX settings are enabled in the browser. Otherwise, you won't be able to utilize the full functions. So once you have the browser set up, uh, you're going to type in the IP address of the NVR. So in this example, I set it up to be 192.168.1.240. And you're going to enter that into the URL. Once that's done, as you can see on the screen here, you're gonna see the login page for the recorder. So you're gonna go ahead and put in the username. In this example, it's gonna be admin, all lowercase, and the password that I set up is gonna be ENS, lowercase, one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna go ahead and hit login, and then you're in the recorder itself. Uh, one of the first things I like to do is just make sure that the camera that I'm gonna be using is gonna be visible. So I go ahead and select the single view, select the camera, and then select the master stream so I can see the clear quality picture of the image. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the setup menu and then of course you're going to make sure that the date and time is always the correct one along with the time zone because later on when you do a playback you want to make sure everything syncs. So again one of the first things I like to do is go to client and as you see here where it says intelligent mark if you plan to use any analytics make sure that's set to on in this example and then you want to hit save. The reason why you want to do that is because if you don't set it to on, the analytics that you use will not be shown on the live view, okay? So that's just kind of for a frame of reference. Once you do that, then what you're going to want to do is go into the smart menu, okay? And then of course, if you have multiple cameras, you're going to select the correct camera. And then now what we're going to do is uh, select the uh, body detection analytics. Now one thing I want to mention is that this camera is a deep AI uh, camera that has extra features. So the body detection is going to include extra features uh, such as you know human vehicle detection. Now not all cameras will have this, but this one that we're using as this example will. Okay. So in order to set it up, you're going to select a analytic rule to trigger it. So you have cross line detection and intrusion detection. In this example, I'm going to use intrusion detection, which is a uh, enclosed area. So you're going to check the box. Make sure it's set to camera side, of course, and then click this little gear here. Once you do that, uh, you're going to see the settings to configure. And since this is an active deterrence camera, it's going to have an alarm and alarm light. So not all cameras will have this feature, but in this example, it will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check alarm sound. And then you have a drop down menu of uh, different messages it can output when it gets triggered. So in this example, I'm going to select you are in the alert area, please leave. And then right below that, I'm going to select the repeat. So that's going to be how many times the message will repeat. So I'm going to put 10 as an example. And then here under the checkbox for the alarm light, I'm going to enable that. That's just an optional strobe light that can coincide with the alarm message. So you're going to select the blinking time, however many seconds it goes on. And the brightness level is going to be between 1 to 1,000. So you can select the brightness level and test it out based on the lighting environments that you have in your location. The next step, what you're going to do is you're going to set up the detection area that you want to cover. So uh, you're going to start with drawing the detection area. So what you want to do is first select draw area. And then one thing I want to mention is when you draw the area, the enclosed area, make sure you can see the purple line. Okay. So in this example, I draw it here. Make sure you have an enclosed area the best you can. And also keep in mind, if you're not satisfied with the area that you're drawing, you can always clear it out and redraw again. Okay, so I have an enclosed area now as an example, okay? Then under the filter type, because this is a deep AI camera, and again, not all cameras will have this, uh, you're going to select between you know, the motor vehicle, non-motor vehicle, or pedestrian. So since this is an entrance area for the building, I'm going to select pedestrian, and you can choose between the minimum and maximum size that person needs to be in terms of pixel size. Once I select that, I'm going to set, click finish drawing and then uh, right below that you're going to notice there's going to be uh, different settings such as time threshold which just means that how many seconds that person has to be in the detection area. 
Sensitivity, the higher the sensitivity, the more it's gonna pick up. Percentage is gonna be the percentage of the size of the object. So if you select it to be higher, then that object has to be a higher percentage to take up the area. The snapshot object is gonna be the picture that you're gonna snapshot. So in this example, I'm gonna select pedestrian, in other words, a person. Once you're gonna do that, you're gonna select copy and make sure you have the arming schedule enabled and then the camera that you have is gonna be checked by default and you're gonna hit save. Okay, then once you do that, another thing you wanna also not forget to do is go to setup and then you're gonna go under camera and then you're gonna to have to coincide the recording schedule with the analytics that you set up. So you're gonna go down here towards the schedule and then you're gonna select the camera, which in this case is camera two. And then by default, you wanna make sure, uh, you know, default it's gonna be set to normal 24 seven recording, which takes up a lot of hard drive space. But if you only wanna record based on the triggering of the analytics, which takes up less hard drive space, then you can go ahead and uh, set the schedule for that. Make sure you can either have redundant recording on. Uh, if you have redundant recording on, that means you have to have a minimum of two discs. So in this case, I don't need to be on, but the recording schedule needs to be on. So what I'm gonna do is if I want the recording to only trigger when the analytics are set, then I'm gonna select edit. And then I'm gonna go ahead under the date, the type, select event, because analytics are considered an event. And then I'm gonna copy to whatever days that I want that to be set. So in this example, I'm gonna set to every single day. Click okay. And then you can see here, the color now changes to a, a purplish pink color to indicate event recording then what I'm gonna do is just make sure, you know, you copy to whatever channels that you want. If you want it to be all, then you can select all or just, you know, select the camera that you want. Once you do that, you're gonna hit save, okay? And then once you do that, then what you wanna do is go back to the live view. Again, select the single channel mode to visualize your camera and then go ahead and select it. And then don't forget to make sure it's set to master stream because by substream, it's set to default. If you set it to master stream, then as you can see in this example, you're gonna see the detection region and the analytics that are covering it. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, have two subjects walk through the detection area and show you how this works. And now we're gonna show you the video analytics in action. As you can see here, we have a person walking towards the detection region and a second one coming. Now, when the person enters the detection region, you'll notice that the green box becomes red. That means that the analytics has picked them up. After that, you wanna verify that the uh, snapshots have been taken. So what you wanna do is go to the smart menu at the top. And then on the third icon down where it says VCA search, you're gonna select that. And then here, you're gonna select the camera that you chose, the date and time in this example is today. And then under the object type, since we selected as pedestrian, for the analytics, you're gonna hit search. Now you can see there's a lot of snapshots of the subjects walking. So for the example, I'm gonna select the first snapshot. I'm gonna click the checkbox on the upper right hand corner. And then you see on the far right hand side, there's a little video clip that you can press. If you press the play button, you can see them walking into the building. If you wanna have a clearer picture, a larger view, just click this double arrow button here and you have a full screen mode. And if you wanna exit that, just go ahead and hit the escape button on your keypad, and that's it. Welcome to the second part of the tutorial where we're gonna show you how to set up the body detection on the NVR local interface itself. So once you log into the recorder, what you're gonna do is, again, verify that you can see the camera on the live screen. So what I'm gonna do, under this menu bar here where it says multi-window, I'm gonna select a single window, or you can just double click, and then you'll see the full screen menu of the, uh, the camera itself. So again, what you're gonna do is, uh, to make sure all the settings are done correctly, you're gonna go to the menu, and then under the menu, you're gonna go ahead and make sure under the, the VCA, you're gonna go in to select the camera. Under the camera, you're gonna select camera two in this example. And then under the, uh, the smart intrusion prevention, you're gonna select between either a tripwire or the intrusion detection. So what you're gonna do is, like the last example, I'm gonna select the intrusion detection box. Make sure it's set on the camera side, of course, and then click on the gear icon right here. Then what you're gonna do is, under the uh, camera selection, you're gonna make sure, of course, it's set to camera two. The trigger action, uh, there's a couple of options that you see here that you didn't see in the previous uh, clip, because that was a web browser version. 
Here you can actually trigger the buzzer and the NVR, or you can trigger to do email notification or a pop-up window. For the recording part, just make sure that you have it set to the camera that you selected. In this example, is D2. Just click OK. And then the arming schedule, just make sure that it's set for every day. Okay, so you're gonna copy all. Make sure on every single day, it's set to all. Apply. For all the days that you plan on using the analytics. Once you do that, you're going to click OK. And then under the, uh, the menu here, what you're going to do is you're going to draw the detection region this time. So this time, you're obviously, you're doing it through the NBR web GUI. So once you draw it, I'm going to draw the same rectangular region that I did in the web browser version. So you're going to go ahead and click. And then again, make sure that you can see the line that you're drawing. So I'm going to draw an enclosed rectangular region similar to what I had before. Okay, so once that's done, then what I'm gonna do is, uh, again, you'll see how the same configurations were on the web browser, but they're just oriented in a different type of position. So same concept. So sensitivity, you're gonna select the sensitivity based on how you wanna pick up the objects. So the higher the sensitivity, more it's gonna pick up something. The time threshold, again, is gonna give you the amount of time that the object has to be in that detection area. Then the percentage, again, is gonna be the size of the object. So the higher the percentage, then the more space that object needs to take up in order to trigger. For the snapshot object, I'm gonna select pedestrian because we're gonna be picking up people in this example. And then again, since this is an active deterrence model that we're using, I'm gonna click the alarm sound. So again, you're gonna select an option of the messages it's gonna output. So I'll use the same one as last time. You are in the alert area, please leave. And then the repeat time, we'll leave it at 10 and the alar alarm strobe light, I'm going to enable that and then leave the blinking time and the brightness at the same level. You're going to click apply and then after that you're going to click exit and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the storage menu and then I'm going to select the second camera which is the one that we're using and then again you're going to make sure the schedule is enabled and again here as I've already done previously, you're going to make sure that the, uh, the schedule is going to be under event. But just to show you how it's done, you're going to click edit. And again, on the drop down menu, you're going to select all the days. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and select event as a type because the analytics is counted as an event. And then you're going to copy to all, click OK, and then apply. And then you're set for that part right there. Okay. And then you also want to do one for the snapshot as well, too. Select it for the second camera, enable the schedule, and then again under uh, the edit, select the type as an event, copy to all, click OK, and then now all the schedule is colored for the event recording schedule. Apply, and then go ahead and exit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the live view, and then verify I can see the analytics again. And then one thing that I also want to mention too is when you right click on your mouse and then you go into the preview mode, you have a difference between normal and smart. If you go to smart, then you'll notice on the right hand side here, you have a snapshot option that you can show the snapshots being taken of the people going through the detection area along with the, uh, the type of an, uh, analytics that's being used and what kind of object it's filtering. So as you can see here on these examples, on this first one, it shows it's an intrusion detection, which camera, the timestamp, along with the object type. In this example, it's pedestrian. So if I want to click on that, I can also do a playback clip of that video that just got taken. And now we're going to show you the body detection analytics uh, in live action through the NVR interface. As you can see here, the subjects are approaching the detection area. And the object detection boxes go from green to red, which means it picks up the people that's walking through. And then also you'll note on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see the snapshots are also taking uh, pictures of the people as well too. 
So if you want to do a quick playback footage, just go ahead and click on one of the snapshots by double left clicking, and then you'll see it pulls up a little quick short video clip. You also note that on the live screen here, it shows the type of intrusion detection that we set up, which camera channel, the timestamp, and the type of object. In this example, it's the pedestrian that we filtered out. Another option how to set it up uh, on the playback is if you go into the main menu, go into VCA, and then under the VCA search, go into the behavior search, and then select which camera. In this example, is camera two. Of course, the start time and end time. And then the object type, in this example, is pedestrian. Hit search. And then you also see a bunch of snapshots that have been taken too. And if you wanna preview those clips, again, select which image that you wanna see, click the checkbox, and then on the right hand side, you'll see the playback footage, and then just click on the play button, and you'll see the same clip. And this concludes our tutorial on how to set up the human body detection via the NVRV interface and the web interface. Thanks for watching.